I was never influenced by what other people thought. I believed I could do it. And if you have a problem in life, nobody's going to solve it except you. My father, who played golf on the mine, said, come and play golf. And I said, not for me, that's a sissy's game. I, I'm not going to play that. But the bug had bitten me. And I practiced every morning at six o'clock. And I finished every night at seven o'clock. I just played golf and practiced all day long, every day. It was very exciting for me, but everybody in the world, including my father, said I was crazy. I had a wonderful life traveling around the world and meeting so many wonderful people. I have missed my family a lot, which is the saddest thing. But to become a world champion, you have to sacrifice a lot of things. I just loved this thought of Colesburg, this tiny little town where Gary Player chooses to live and to have him playing at the Colesburg Open. And he's the only one. It's comical. And, and Gary loves a laugh. No need to be scared of Gary anymore. Turns out he's a bloody good bloke. <laughs> I was a workaholic and I always worked harder than everybody else. I stayed the fittest and the leanest and watched what I ate the best. There was no entitlement in my life. You've got to work and earn it the old fashioned way. Gary Player would have been hugely successful at whatever he did. To have that much energy at that age is an inspiration to all of us. I can do it all day, Gary, don't oh. you worry about that. <laughs> I've seen so many potentially great players that could have been great had they had the right attitude. And attitude is an amazing thing. Everybody seems to think they're the only ones that have problems. Let's go, I'm ready, Gary. Go on. It's really 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. sport can give people hope where they lived in despair. Take people that have never fortunate enough to go to school and yet they're talented to kick a ball or to throw a ball or to hit a ball. That ball can change their lives. Losing was always quite easy for me. My father always said to me, look, you're going to lose more than you're going to win. Enjoy the success of others because when you have success, you want them to enjoy yours. And then have a bit of a tantrum for me. <laughs> That's yeah, and then that's <laughs> He's a man who could do really whatever he wanted, but he's choosing to live his life in South Africa and focus on education. That, combined with what he's achieved as an athlete, makes him an inspiration. You've got to try and fill your life with love, because if you fill your life with love, you have respect for everybody. People that have love in their hearts and achieve everything through love, those are the people that go down in history.